Well, we're back, everybody. I can't jump. I'm taking it slow. No running in the library, I guess. Didn't I see you at the store? Hey! Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfiche is? Microfiche. Microfiche! Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up! Slow night? Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Who Larry? Where's Larry? I'm weary of Larry. Let's get up there. Did we write anything else in the book? Deed. Oh, the guitar. <laughs> we don't have any other new drawings, right? We're missing some. Oh well. Let's get in there. I said third floor, we're on the second floor. Might as well take a look around, right? Compies. That one's on. We can look there. Look through the stacks. Children's books. Nothing. Alright. What is this all about? Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No! I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like you were kidnapped by a cult. You were under some curse. Where a cute thing followed you around 24 7. Yelling about, like, sharing and not littering and paying taxes. Well, that's an important, uh, skill. I was five! I'm 20 now and I still haven't paid taxes. Charity Barity goes to a state infrastructure budgeting meeting. Ugh, I forgot the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity. Oh no, austerity. What's that? Reason the two bridges in and out of Salt's Town are still closed. Oh wow, you still can't, like, go to Salt's Town? You're welcome to try. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity. Danger everywhere it be. That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. Charity Barity! That picture looks like something out of South Park. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ? Born 1966? 50 years old. Let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be like, guaranteed? Should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? No. Yes. Maybe. Are you gonna be there, B? BB? 50? I don't think 50 is that old. Going up. Going down. Ooh, going up. I don't know what old is until I get there. <laughs> yes. Let's see. <laughs> oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Alright, oh, well, that's even more impressive. 
So we're gonna go find this guy, because he took someone, and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through, and that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay. It was fine. Let's continue on with the journey. Where's Larry at? Don't scare me, Larry. Please. There, that must be the microfiche. And... nothing. Wait, Larry's around here somewhere. I'm gonna check real quick before I do that. Alright, there was nothing there. Let's look at the microfiche. Alright, there she is. Cool. What do I do? So... I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea! No. Your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Ah. Ugh. Are we friends, be twist Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. Microfriche! Alright, so what are we looking for? Tragedy at Stafford Mine? Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. I want to steer! No. Move, I'm steering! Ow! Jeez, May! I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost! Sure. Well, we got a lot to look of. Oh. Awesome statue, no, his residence, his posse is finally laid for demolition. This one knocked off Posse's gear. Nope. <coughs> Progress springs in Posse Mines. Pie piracy? Hmm, this is. <laughs> Dear citizen, please make note to keep your pies safe during the pleasant weather we are experiencing. Several ladies have reported pies from their kitchens disappearing at alarming rates. Even worse, the picky culprit is leaving behind only the rhubarb pies. Until this criminal is caught or the bad weather returns, we remind our housewives to make use of their pie safes indoors or stick to rhubarb. Hmm, this is interesting, but... Yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Yeah, I know. I know. Old Town Store. Old Pickaxe! This is B's place! No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. I don't. Old Pickaxe... The old pickaxe hardware store is set to have its grand opening this Saturday. We received a sneak peek of the store yesterday, and our town will benefit greatly from this new addition. Roy Berg is bringing 25 years of building experience into his new venture and has stocked the shelves with all the nuts, bolts, and nails you would need for any project, plus the latest in tools. Stop by to see the latest trends in everything from hand saws to hammers. Best of luck to Mr. Birch. So we got Massacre. Uh, strange but two. Well, this one's about teeth. And we found a tooth, right? Oh, wow, this is gnarly. And awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa! Okay, so this story here basically tells of how these miners rose up against this bad boss of the mine, I guess. And, uh, they punched him in the face, knocked his tooth out, and then they pinned him on the ground, pulled out of all of his teeth. All the miners kept the teeth, used them as symbols, and then they created, like, this secret society where all the members would have a tooth with a symbol on it. When the boss died, they dug up his skull, they put the so teeth in his sockets, and then they would have ceremonies and shit. And then they would take the teeth again. So this is... This is probably the tooth that we found in the safe. Occasionally, a descendant of one of these men will find a tooth with strange markings in their home. Strange, but true. Oh my god, we have the tooth! We need to find the skull. Dig it, dig it up. This one? 
No ghost! I guess I can just... I'm gonna skip all, over a bunch of stupid ones. No ghosts here. Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. Bossom Springs Historical Society's conversion of the Shrageist House into its new headquarters and education center has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Newsom has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there after hours doing my work, and I'd hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. I came out to see who was fooling, but there was never nobody there, said Newsom. Newsom. Trying to get this mat room operational for the children all the while I'm looking over my shoulder expecting to see God knows what. Mr. Nuzom had previously requested to Nuzom. 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 Om. Man? Nuzom? Ah, what is that? My French is getting really rusty. Mr. Nuzom has previously requested to work only daylight hours when other staff were present in the building, but even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go to the off-limits area anymore. I don't go up past the second floor, and then only to go to the office. I know the others laugh. Say I'm seeing little Joe or something. But they can all go spit. Little Joe for the uninitiated was a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Newsome's claim at this time. Read this one. This one's ghostly. Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted. Historical Society. Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad? Mine? Steel mill? Something like that. An actual haunted house? Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Not really, May. Not really. Sound off on the opinion line. No ghosts here. Let's take a- Ah, this one's ghostly. Local ghost Lil' Joe at it again. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Lil' Joe, purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favorite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around, unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths, and as such, Possum Springs City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers, you may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. Ghostly! There we go. Oh, look! Scooch so I can see. Graveyard. That's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool. That's where his grave is? I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history! History that won't stay history. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Nope. Hey, look at this! Hmm, yeah. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 a.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the state forest hills 
Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Looks like... Possum Jump? Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. That's actually probably only a mile or so from Miss Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements. Or corpse husbands. Co-signed. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? No, let's look at more stuff. There was another one, wasn't there? Possum Springs, Tragedy of Sapphire Mine. No, so we got three. I guess there isn't any other ones. I don't need to read all that. So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless. But do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you all around to all of these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool. I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Summers. Ahem. <clears throat> what is... Shh. Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh, wow. Haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program, program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Should be saving that string to repair those bridges in Saltstown. There you go. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yeah! There's Selmers! Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? They don't actually pay her in string, right? <laughs> yes, May. They literally pay her in string. I was just joking! Right. <clears throat> Letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home, when they ask about life, out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you'll be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? Poor Miss Quelsey. At least she's blowing off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time. Born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged. So it, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one's shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frogs. 
Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, Amphibie? Oh, this is the guy in the sewers that's always fishing. That's it. That's great! Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really worried about what fish think. About what fish think? He definitely talks to the actual fish? Uh, this one. That tunnel always spooks me. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forster, my favorite poet in Possum Springs. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called... There's no reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> she's not wrong. <clears throat> no reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, babyface boy billionaire. Phone app sold. Made more money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs. Became living with family jobs. This is like a fucking true fact. Oh my god. Boy billionaires. Money is access. Access to politicians waiting for us to die. Let in our water. Alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard. With a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Force 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement, there in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their silicon city to the ground. Holy shit. Wow. Damn. Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Summers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait. Was the assumption that she didn't write it hers? Nice work, Smeller. Smelmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? I got a poem! I mean, I got an achievement! Poets of Possum Springs! Oh, we're all chillin'. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right. So... Find anything out about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost! Lil' Joe! I don't really remember Lil' Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow! I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, Dread and shit. I'm terrified! Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there any illegal ones? Sure is. The historical society. You know you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? 
Possum Jump. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect! Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome! And also, I'm scared to death. <laughs> Time for sleeps. Hey! Mysterious Tooth is not that mysterious, I know. Thought, if I die, Selma should write a poem about it. She is a good poet. I like that last one. It was, it was real. Anything else? No. Alright. Hey, paps. And no moms. Paps. Ugh. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The uh. Yeppers. So, uh, you and mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. Just a bump. You two. Always two alike. I guess. I got your chillin' her smart assness. <laughs> I'd just hate to see you two in on the outs again. It'll be fine, we're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad? May it's fine. It's okay, I'm 20, I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Dad, let's watch some TV together. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. No! TV time with my pops! Damn it. Alright, let's go up. Uh, 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 uh. Bird. Nothing. 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 Let's get upstairs. I wonder if we're gonna have a weird ass dream. Laptop. Raindrop. Laptop. Drop top. Shrop. <laughs> Bright Harbor Post. It's Autumn Secret. Oh, we've read that already. Angus! Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map and it's pretty straight shot to Possum Jump. Okay, great! We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. <laughs> Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's really old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something? Haunted pools would be actually pee scary. I'm spooked! I'm going to bed. <laughs> hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's, like, right down the road. You're ruining this! Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also, you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it! I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Lol. I used to do that all the fucking time. I used to do that all the time. Fall asleep on Messenger or the phone. I used to talk to people. In high school, we used to talk on the phone. I know that's a pretty weird thing where you're talking on an actual phone. You didn't text or shit like that. I used to talk on the phone all the time and then fall asleep. It was a big bad habit. I'm going to sleep now. Bedtime? Hell yeah. <sighs> dream time? Is it dream time? 
Dream time! Four ghosts. Get that light! Damn right. I can drop down, right? Triple jump of power. There's another light. Get that. Uh, that's creepy. The fuck was that? Why? No, get away! What's going on? These dreams start getting... Ah, there we go. They're getting more and more freaky as we progress. Wow, this is the actual big level around here. And another ghost. Get it. What's what are you gonna do, fish? Get the hell away from me. Creepy ass fish. Creepy ass people flying up. Weirdness. Got it. Hey. What? Fish, get out of here! What are you doing? Have I met you before? Somebody smoking the pipe? No. I gotta get Brit like that. There's another one. That's not all of them, right? Did I get all four? Or am I at three right now? for now, I think. There's one more. Yeah, right here. We made it back. What freaking is- oh, fish. Oh. Hey, what's going on with you? What are we seeing? New music. We did it. We done did it. We done did it. Let me see that. I guess the library was like the. I enjoyed the poetry slam. Anybody saying anything? Shorkle. B. Ah, oh, wait. Rising sea levels will increase shark attack frequency for obvious reasons. Shorkle, you'd never. You wouldn't attack me increasingly, would you? Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Last night inspired me. For the longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. <laughs> Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever is in the cooler. All right. Well, we did it. I like I said before. <laughs> anyway, we're going to continue on with the journey next time with more Night in the Woods. We're going ghost hunting. I still don't know what's going on with the person's arm in the beginning of the game. What the hell? But <laughs> anyway, thank you all for joining me.
I'll be back again with some more Night in the Woods.